the FDA approved brentuximab vendotin plus lenalidomide and rituximab for large B-cell lymphoma on February 11, 2025. Here, relapsed means cancer returns post-treatment, while refractory indicates no response to treatment. This approval is for adults with large B-cell lymphoma post two or more treatments, ineligible for stem cell or CAR T-cell therapy. The Echelon 3 trial was pivotal, testing 230 patients on survival metrics. Median overall survival 13.8 months versus 8.5 months, HR 0.63, P.85, progression-free survival 4.2 months versus 2.6 months, HR 0.53, P less than 0 0.0001. Overall response rate 64.3% versus 41.5%. Common side effects include fatigue, diarrhea, neuropathy, rash, pneumonia. Notable lab abnormalities in greater than 10%, neutrophils, lymphocytes, platelets, hemoglobin, neuropathy in 27%, leading to dose reduction in 6%, discontinuation in 4.5%. Dose 1.2 mg per kilogram, brentuximab vendotin up to 120 mg every three weeks with lenalidomide and rituximab. This approval offers new options for large B-cell lymphoma patients not suited for aggressive therapies. Approval highlights overall survival 13.8 months, PFS 4.2 months, overall response rate 64.3%. More research needed. Thank you. Subscribe here and go to oncologytube.com for more on this and many other cancer research topics.